As you've heard me say over the years that the greatest ability is availability. For the presence of love and the beauty and intelligence and a joy and abundance and all of the transcendent uh, attributes of the spirit which we are to make eminent through our participation in the unfolding of our own soul. We use the word unfolding on purpose because there's something about us uh, that is a perfect idea of us already, not something that we have to put on, not something that we have to make up, and not something that we have to recreate. It is something that's already here. Filament of light, inspiration, energetic coding of perfection. All of that is within us. It is our very life and being. And through our joyful, cheerful participation, it unfolds, it manifests, it, it reveals itself. So you take all of the strain out of making something happen in your life and you allow yourself to be available to what's already happening so that it can reveal itself as your life. Reverend Arlene in that reading used the word inspiration, the breath of the living one. Inspiration is actually what we might call the voice of the spirit, the voice of God, not the voice that would come through our throat because God doesn't have ears or mouths. If you would think for a moment, you say something to yourself inside of your own awareness and you realize you will hear it, but you're not hearing it with your ears. You're hearing it with consciousness. The living one reveals a cascade of intelligence and a beauty and inspiration, a cascade of intelligence and guidance. And so when one is inspired, one is catching the, an original thought directly from the Godhead uh, that begins to move through us. And if we allow it, it actually moves us. It actually thinks through us, speaks through us, and acts through us. All of this is leading to the way of meditation, where you are tuning yourself uh, to the living one, to the spirit, the presence. You're, you're, you're tuning yourself to catch the eternal broadcast so that you are inspired, ultimately breathe through, so that you reflect and you reveal that which is transcendent to your personal mind but becomes imminent. You make it real. You have a realization in your life. Now this is real work because you have thoughts that are emerging from inspiration, thoughts that are emerging from the presence, and then you have thought forms that are emerging from the sea of mental garbage. The sea of mental garbage are thought forms that emerge uh, from humanity's sense of separation. We're never separated from the divine, but there is a sense of a separation where individuals have an emotional experience of being separate from the divine, and that reveals all manner of experience. A, a, a loneliness, a tremendous anxiety, anxiousness, hate, bigotry, all manner of things emanate from a sense of separation that can then splinter into the disease of racism, the, the disease of hate, uh, and all manner of things. It, it just splinters into those kind of experiences from a sense of separation from the divine. So as you're participating in the way of meditation, you begin to catch the spiritual ideation from the presence. You become less and less influenced by the thought forms of the world of effects and circumstances. Paid advertisement called the news, uh, social media, contagion of emotions that move through the internet. You become less influenced by that which isn't eternally true. 
so that as you practice the art and science of meditation, you become on a hunt and you become available for that which is eternally true. Is it, is it true today? And will it be true 100 years from now? That is a quality and a spiritual principle is what you're looking for so that you can read through the human consciousness of newspapers and social media uh, for your entertainment or for your prayer list, but you'll notice if any of that is eternally true. Is it going to be true 20 years from now, you see? Uh, or, or is it just like a passing fad or is it just some kind of emotional contagion that's moving through or some kind of hip mass hypnotism from your government or something to that effect? And you can begin to separate yourself from the sea of mental garbage and come above the firmament as it's described in, in the Bible. And because below the firmament, you know, is, is a mental garbage and above it are the holy spiritual ideas of the presence of God. You, as an emanation of the spirit of the most high, are practicing that you catch inspiration, that you're catching spiritual idea from the presence, original thought. You know, they call us new thought, ageless wisdom. We should have one every now and then. It's a new thought every now and then. <laughs> because if, in fact, you're regurgitating the same thought forms you have every, every single day, it's called mentation, and you're just in a milieu of the ex of same experiences all the time, and your body temple grows old faster than it should uh, because there's no new, eternal, original thought from the presence that's animating your being. And so what do we do? We meet in places like this. We stop. We pay attention. You are rich enough to pay attention. You see? And you become richer and richer enough to pay attention with practice so that you can pay attention to the eternal verities, even though the world will try to pull you into a downward slide of separation and fear, doubt and worry, anxiety, hate, and all manner of temporary thought forms that have snagged your attention. But with practice, you become aware of that which is real, eternal, and then you're able to walk through the world, but you're of a higher frequency. So you're not denying the human experience. You're not denying the compassion of your own heart as you witness human experience of suffering and worry and lack and limitation, the human experience of hate, doubt. You can witness it as you are vibrationally bearing witness to the truth of your being that makes you free. Remember that statement. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Why is this statement so powerful? Because it gives us total responsibility for our own life. We shall know the truth. You shall know the truth. You shall know the truth of your being and it will make you free. No one else can know it. They can know it for you and about you through prayer, but ultimately there has to be an activity of your own awareness where you know the truth, capital T. You are irrevocably hidden with Christ and God, the Atman, the presence, the Buddha field. You, you're one with the presence. Ye shall know the truth of your being. You shall. You have to know this. And it will make you free. So you witness the physical evidence of nonsensical thinking. You will bear witness to the truth of your being and become a vibrational clearinghouse to the thought forms of separation for individuals that may not ever even meet you or even ever see you as vibrational beings connected to all of humanity all around the globe 
you'll understand the nature of Yeshua ben Joseph. That's a quantum statement. Jesus the Christ, for those of you who don't know his name, as I am lifted up, I draw all unto me. As we keep lifting up our vibration, we draw all unto the higher frequency like a tuning fork, allowing that which is intrinsic within us to start to vibrate and be lifted. Now when you fall, you get back up. You tip over, you get back up and keep practicing. Whether it's mental or emotional or physical or whatever the case may be, you keep getting up and getting up becomes a part of your practice until you're up longer than you're down, you see. So this community, the bedrock is a meditation, affirmative prayer, a life visioning, study, sacred service, holy communion and spiritual community that allows people to go through healing and then the uh, then a, 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 a birthing field of vision and then anchoring that vision in time and space as an aspect of the beloved community. I welcome you to you. And so as we sit surrounded by this, this beautiful soak technology that's encoded with a vibration that assists in the elimination of thoughts of depression, anxiety, allowing us to more easily expand our awareness to that which is real. We embrace our soulful intentionality to have a spiritual realization of our oneness with the power, the presence, the love, and the intelligence of God Almighty, God all beauty, God all joy. We sit with the intention to wake up to our glorious nature. with our hands facing downward today as a sign of not seeking to escape into the ethers but seeking to bring insight inspiration expanded awareness into time embody the truth that makes us free there's a slight smile on our face if you'll allow it to happen a smile on your face gives your face face value and also lifts the vibration of the temple. We're paying attention to our intention, the vibration of it, the feeling tone of it, the energy of it while simultaneously being aware that the body is breathing. The body temple is breathing, extracting hydrogen and oxygen from the air and all of the other elements that are necessary for the health of the temple. And we don't have to do that. We don't know how to extract oxygen and hydrogen built-in, intrinsic wholeness. Because the body's breathing, it's happening presently. There's, there's not a future breath or a past breath. <sighs> there's this breath. Always we sit with an awareness of a pure and lowly listening 
not just listening with ears, but our entire being is what? Available for insight, wisdom, guidance. In a language and in a way that we can understand, so we listen with our entire being. It's the spirit of the living one, Mother Nature, presence. It's broadcasting itself everywhere. We catch it in consciousness through our intention. as a child unless ye are like a child you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven the realm of ever expanding good you can only enter in through childlike availability and openness beginner's mind know it all ism this keeps you out we're available like a child. And so we sit always as if this is our very first time practicing the art and science of meditation. We practice as if this is the first time we've ever heard these words. We listen with our entire being.
Where is your attention right now? If drift has occurred, come back to the sacred breath, the feeling tone of your intention, and begin again, over and over and over again, as you are developing dominion over attention so that nothing can steal your attention, not, a, not even the thought forms moving through your awareness, not even the world. You govern your attention. I will grant you perfect peace to the mind that stays on thee. The great psalmist said, I will grant you perfect peace to the mind that stays on the presence. Paraphrase.
where is your attention? soaking up the infinite presence surrounding us. We enter into a prayerful tryst. The spirit of the living God, the living one, everywhere present, omniscient, omniscience. And we fall deeply in love with this presence that is closer than our breathing and nearer than our hands and feet. As the Quran would say, closer than even our neck vein. O oh, infinite spirit, Lord God Almighty, Mother, Father God, infinite spirit, the living one, how great thou art. How infinite and divine and perfect is thy holy, holy name. Divine nature in us, as us. In this moment of recognizing this presence and feeling greater and greater unity with the presence, with every breath that we take, the very word that is now being spoken is a vibrational frequency of the absolute. And I speak it with the authority of one knowing that all that there is is God and everything that truly is is a manifestation of the only thing that is God is everywhere. 
And so the word is spoken for each and every one of us sitting in this way of meditation service that we may be lifted vibrationally into the celestial realm of oneness with the presence untouched by time or human experience in that great rejuvenation, renewal, regeneration is the order of the day for each and every one of us mentally, emotionally, physically, and in every area of our life. We accepted this. We don't ask how. We merely accept the givingness of the Spirit and allow it to be the activity of our awareness that then compels us into right thinking, right speech, and right action. That's manifesting. Opportunities and possibilities for the great release of our gifts and talents that pave the way for wondrous beauty, wonders to behold. This is where we're living. We come out of the fog of despair and come into the bright uh, sunlight of our spiritual sun shining within us always at a 45 degree angle, always. And we give thanks for this as we embrace each other in this vibration of prayer. Embrace all of those who have called our prayer ministry. And we know that from this moment on, every single thing is working together for our individual and for our collective good. The presence of God has the whole world in His hands through us now. As we're lifted up, we draw all into this higher frequency. We give thanks for this and we allow it to be so. Therefore, we can say unequivocally, and so it is. And so I am. And so we are. So we say to each other now, so be it. So be it. <sighs> and so God is blessing you. You are available to the blessings of the Spirit. It's everywhere. And I want to just thank you for being with us this morning. This is our opportunity, as I like to say, to stretch our generosity muscles. We came into this world with everything. We have everything. And we prime the pump of the manifesting everything that we have through the acts of giving and sharing, shining, radiating. And so you can, if you're new to this, begin today to donate, give, make an offering, a tithe, however, whatever language is fitting you at this particular stage of your development, you can do that today with ease and with grace. The veterans who have been sustaining this community for years, in particular the last couple of years, God bless you and thank you for being the financial and spiritual backbone for the community to keep on growing as many things were shrinking. Thank you for your generosity. Everyone else, this is your opportunity to step forward in this moment. Don't hesitate. Don't be late. Just do it now. We pray. I give thanks right now that each and every individual tuning in is blessed with the spirit of peace and generosity and the feeling tone of all needs met. That this takes over their life. And it's from this consciousness that we bless our tithe, our gift, our offering, our donation, and we dedicate it to the knowingness of truth of our being that makes us free. And it's happening now, and so it is. Amen. So the veterans, please begin your giving process. Many of you are already on our auto tithe program, and we absolutely appreciate that and to you. Everyone else, you can take up your phone right now. Pick up your phone, but don't walk. 
<laughs> text the word GIVE to 424-321-6243. All of this information will be on your screen as well for the cited. And you can choose, the, the, you, you text that word GIVE to that number and your phone will prompt you and show you how to choose. You choose the amount that you want to give today. You could also choose the regularity of the gifting. If you want to make it a weekly gift or every other week or once a month, you can do all of that on this technology. If you, if you let's just for instance, you say, I'm going to give $100 today, and you, then you put cover right after that, that means you're covering the expense of the technology for a few dollars. So we appreciate if you say cover. If not, it's okay. But you can do that right now. You can mail it in. Agape International, make out your checks and money orders through Agape International. 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. Mail yours in right away. You can also go to our website. If, in fact, you're on another platform right now, you might be watching on YouTube. You can go to agapelive.com. A-G-A-P-E-L-I-V-E. -E. Again, it's on your screen for the cited. AgapeLive.com. You see the donation um, button up at the top. It'll show you how to give. You're very intelligent people. You can do this. If you're on Facebook, my personal Facebook page. I have a public page which is unlimited. People can, can come through. Michael Bernard Beckwith. Agape has a Facebook page. Both have donation buttons. All of that goes to Agape. You can do it there. Do it now. God bless you. I'll be right back. Reverend Julie Moretz coming forward to highlight some of the wonderful things happening in our community. Thanks, Rev. Good morning. You can visit agapelive.com for details on all items mentioned and all times are Pacific time. In today's climate, where it appears that anger and social and political polarization are continuously on the rise, Life can feel overwhelming. We can either feel stuck in fight, flight, or freeze mode, or choose to answer the, our soul's call to awaken to a potential that is greater than our current limited paradigm, perceptions, and circumstances. If you are ready to step into that greater flow, that greater power, and have greater impact on the planet, join us for Awakening, Embracing Your Soul's Purpose, a meditation envisioning virtual intensive with Michael B. Beck with Saturday, June 11th from 10 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Register today at agapelive.com. Teen Agape is open today. It meets online at 11.15 a.m. For information and to join, click the Teen Agape banner on our website. Preteens ages 9 to 13 meet at 2 o'clock. Children ages 3 to 8 meet at 3.30. Both are live on Zoom. To join and get your Agape Youth Fun Packs, email revleon at agapelive.com. Freedom Path Ministries Zooms this Wednesday at 5 p.m. Release any sense of addiction, old beliefs, or attachments. Click the Freedom Path banner on our website to register. This is a gift to the community and all are welcome. The Crisis Support Clinic will be back in session June 6th, Monday through Saturday. We gotcha. Facebook Live, 8 a.m. for daily prayer, 12 noon for meditation. And be sure to tune in for Reverend Michael's interviews on the power of life visioning on Instagram. You can learn all about what life visioning is, how it works. And then if you're ready to catch the highest vision for your life, straight from the field of the infinite possibilities, join Reverend Coco Stewart, Agape Minister and founding member, along with Reverend Michael Bernard. Beckwith, you can take a deeper dive into the principles and practices revealed in his book, Life Visioning. This is a six-week course. It begins Tuesday, June 7th, 6 p.m. You can register right now. And finally, the Rev's nutritional supplement line is here. If you've ever wondered how Reverend Michael maintains his vim, vigor, and vitality, then meet Adapto Zen, Reverend Michael's new premium line of nourishing supplements in partnership with Nutra Rise. It's comprised of the various superfood formulas that Reverend Michael has been taking for years to maintain his health and energy. All condensed into one product line, Adapto Zen Superfood Greens and the Vitamin D3 plus K2 Drops boost your energy, mood, and immunity and give your body temple the high quality nutrients it needs to thrive so you can maintain your health to live optimally, especially during times of high stress. Go to Nutrarize.com, click on Adapto Zen and get 10% off your first order. Many blessings to you. That is true. Many multiple, multi-dimensional blessings for you. I want you to think about that, that you're being blessed right now. 
And what you're doing is making yourself available for the blessings. You don't have to beg God to bless you. The Spirit of God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It is always cascading itself everywhere. Your prayer, your meditation, your visioning, your study, your fellowship makes you available for that. Your giving makes you available for that. Your generosity makes you available to that as well for the prime, the pump, so to speak. So thank you for your generosity and those who are still giving. Don't let me stop you. Continue. We just turn within in this moment and we do a prayer of thanksgiving for the vibrational feeling tone of all needs met. We learn to live in this frequency even before there's physical evidence of it because we know that the lack of evidence is not the evidence of lack. Something within us is burgeoning to reveal itself. It's called harmonizing prosperity and we let it. We bless this community. We bless all the givers. We bless those who would want to give but can't quit give right now. All needs met. Is the frequency that we broadcast. And so it is. So it Amen. Is. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Of course, you're welcome to come back at 8.30 for the meditation service and 9 o'clock for the worship celebration service in which I will be presenting along with our Agape International Choir. Stand up where you are all around the world. Feel a couple of verses of this song. And then... The benediction will occur. Charles Holt is singing a song written by myself and Tim McAfee Lewis. I'm tired of the guilt that brings me pain. That brings me pain. Now is the time for me to let go. Now is the time for me to let go of the shame. The past behind me. The past is behind me. I see. I see a new. I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for my change. And we're always in an act of forgiveness. We forgive I ourselves. Forgive we forgive others. Where every I act of forgiveness is self-forgiveness. Eliminating the toxins Everything of the heart and mind. And we can let go. I let go. I, we can surrender, I surrender ourselves to our greater yet to be. I surrender. I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for my change. Great God of the universe, infinite spirit. Magnificent one, living one, how great thou art within us and as us, speaking this very word for each and every one of us today that we may be free, that we may live the life that is ordained within us as a divine destiny planted by the power and the presence and the love of God before time began, but using time and space to reveal the evidence of it on earth as it is in the heart and mind of the infinite. Today is a great day and we allow it to be so and so it is. Amen. Have a bright day. We'll see you in just a little bit. Peace and blessings.